have some of the makeup done for the um, Kim Kardashian inspired high blonde look. I haven't done the makeup, I mean the, the lips yet, and I haven't done the cheeks and stuff yet. We'll get to that later, but now you want to focus on pulling this hair up into a bun. So let me start out and First show you how I'm going to do is gather the top part of my hair right now because it's a different curl pattern, so it's easier to manipulate. And I have a bunch of conditioner on my hair and that kind of thing. But you got to start out and place it wherever you want because you got to bring all the rest of your hair up there as well. So put that in a hair band. And that's the first part. Now we're going to grab another section. Hold on. Hold on here. Grab another section and do the same thing, but just join it with that previous section. Like so. As you can see, I finally got my hair to the point where it's all up there. And if you have some issues with some hair that's not quite long enough to get as high as you want it to, you can always gel it down and put bobby pins in the bag. But I didn't use any gel. I um, just used conditioner and um, some other um, products from Aunt Jackie's line of natural hair products and got it to go up in a bun. Gel makes my hair flake up, so I don't use it. So this is the little blonde we have so far, but I'm going to make it better, bigger using this weave right here. Okay? So I've wrapped the weave around. You can't tell it right now, but I'm going to show you. See that purple thing right there? That is a roll of duct tape. Yes, duct tape. I use that to make <laughs> to make the bun bigger. It's just a little thing that I do to make it bigger. But a lot of people use the sock bun thing, but I just use the roll of duct tape because it gives me the nice oomph and shape that I like. So basically, you just have the weave. There we go. Just pull it over the way you like it to be pulled over, and then. You split the back of it into two different sections, like so. Yeah, and that piece right here. And you wrap it to the front to cover any of the tracks that are showing. And then you pin it. So that is your big bun that I have to pin. So let me just pin so it. So here we are. We're done with the hair portion of this video. And before, before anyone has any questions or any comments, let me just go ahead and tell you, um, if, you see, if you see the two different textures of my natural hair and of course the weave, don't worry about it. That's not really the focus of this video. Uh, number one, I don't like putting gel on my natural hair because it makes my hair flake up and into a million pieces of dandruff and whatever else is in that, <laughs> that gel. So I don't like putting gel on my hair for that particular reason. And it doesn't really do very well. And number two, um, I don't like putting heat to my hair as well. I've never put heat to it. I've only put heat to this little tiny section over here to show my length one time. So I don't like putting heat to my hair. So just to explain, just to explain uh, why you see the two different textures, that's why. This video is solely for the purpose of showing you my way to create this top knot. Not really so much to uh, show you how to flat iron natural hair. So, um, so now let's get to the makeup. My lips. I've already got chapstick on them, so all that is good to take care of. Before I forget, let's just go ahead and put on my favorite blush right now is the Black Radiance. Uh, Artisan Color Baked Blush in Toasted Almond, which is number 8306, my favorite blush right now. So I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks really quickly before I go any further with the, with the lips. I prefer this blush just because it doesn't look as clownish on me because sometimes um, blushes can look really clownish on, on darker skin. So try to avoid the clowny looking ones. 
this one I thought was a nice mix. Looks really good. Just a heads up for you ladies out there. And now to fill in my lips, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild lipstick in number 967. It's called Dollhouse Peak. So I'm a little nervous about this lipstick, but we're going to see how it goes. Brown girls couldn't wear bright lipstick. That is totally false. So now I'm zooming out. Here we go. Here is the finished look, everybody. Y'all see my shoes back there in the background? I like those shoes. Anyway, this is the finished look. Um, and just another word about the bun, which is the focus of this video again. Um, you can use any kind of duct tape you want to use. I know this is going to be... <laughs> I'm sure y'all were probably laughing the entire video, but I prefer the duct tape versus the sock bun because the duct tape gives you better height, and if you're a short petite girl, duct tape just makes you seem taller as opposed to the flat sock bun. So, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you like the makeup look, um, and all that jazz. Let me zoom in again and let you see everything that I've you see the fun.